Hey guys, how's it going? You may recognize this M249 from my old channel. This is my HP Aid M249 Featherweight. It has a Polar Star F2 motor in it. Took me a minute. It has a Polar Star F2 motor in it. And I've converted this from its AEG origins probably about a year ago at this point after the stock version 2 gearbox took a dump on me finally it actually lasted a surprisingly long time especially in an lmg application i must say i, I think it's aries that made the C cyber gun featherweight um version 2 gearbox I'm not actually sure, but I think that's what I heard. But it lasted a pretty long time, but eventually it did break. And I told myself that when the stock gearbox broke, I would HPA it. So I HPA'd it, and surprisingly it went off without a hitch. It went pretty smoothly. I basically swapped the internals out with the F2 internals and kept the stock hop up. Everything else was stock. So stock barrel, stock hop-up unit, stock hop-up bucking. And initially it was fine. You know, I took it out to a game and I was actually pretty sold on the HPA hype. Um, I took it to a local play and I, I was just like a kid in a candy shop just getting kills. It was super accurate. But I then took it to Milsim West, uh, the Balkar Bulge, out in PA. And... I was having feeding issues. You know, I had three gear or three box mags, and I was having feeding issues with just all of them. And I thought it was the box mags. Um, so after struggling through the whole op, trying to get it to feed correctly, it was very un it was very sporadic with its feeding. Um, I I took it home, and I figured it was probably the box mags. So got new box mags, and it seemed like it was feeding fine. Um, and then that July, I took it to a game up in New York at Zulu 24, which is about two hours, almost probably more like three hours north of me in New Jersey. And it just was not shooting consistently. You know, it seemed like it was a compression issue or it was an air seal issue or it was giving symptoms of that. I don't think it, that actually is applicable to HPA, but well, the air seal portion is, but I digress. Um, so I took it home and I was like, something's wrong. Maybe I didn't, you know, put it together correctly. And I took it out and I realized that the hop up unit that came with it, which was cheap ABS plastic, had actually, you know, the, um, the feed hole that this pushes into for the box mag, the feed hole in the hop up. Nope, wrong side. Pop this up. That would be in here, the, the feed hole into the hop up. It had actually kind of worn itself down and created a lip. So there obviously wasn't a good seal, like an air seal. And I said, okay. And I just kind of put it aside and said, I'm going to return to this later. So I just kind of stuck to AEGs for a few years. Pardon me, a few years, a few months. Um, and then revisited it when I had time. Um, ultimately, I wanted to replace the hop-up unit. I wanted to flat hop it, uh, which I finally got around to. I installed, pull this guy up, a bull gear hop-up unit, which is a, I'm a really impressed with the unit. Just the, the ergonomics of it and just the performance of it are eons better than the stock hop-up unit that came in the featherweight, especially for a Polar Star application. Um, you can flat hop it, so you can use a flat hop nub. And it's steel, so you don't really, it's like CNC machine steel, so you don't have to worry about that issue I had where the lip for the feed hole for the hop-up unit got worn down. And I also put in a flat hop. And I basically put it in, tested it out, and it had 
it was shooting much better than it had in a long time, almost the way it had originally. Um, but I did have some issues with the feeding and the BBs were jamming up. So I had to ultimately adjust the dwell, which wasn't a huge deal because, again, it has the F2 FCU in it, which allowed me to just simply adjust that. But, you know, it, it just shot a lot better. Um, it shot more consistently. You know, I, I just basically shot it out in my backyard briefly, but, you know, no feeding issues, no inconsistencies with rounds and, and power. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty positive, uh, knock on wood, it's paper, but paper is wood, or it was at one point, that all my issues with it are now resolved. So I'm going to take it out to a game at uh, OXCC in Maryland, which is like an hour from me, over the weekend to do a local play. We're going to see how it performs, but it seemed pretty promising. I think that the bull gear hop-up really just kind of rectified the weakest link issue that I was having, which was the OEM hop-up unit and hop-up. So, as far as I can tell... The HPA M249 Featherweight is up and kicking again, but I will keep you guys updated, and I'll talk to you then. Alright guys, take care.